template file is used when you have a number of calculations that uh, need to be performed and maybe graphs to be viewed. It may have a number of pages uh, and the user may just need to enter some information and a lot of the calculations will be performed for them. So we'll look at a couple of examples here. One that's bivariate data analysis and the other one is on smoothing time series. They may save time in an exam when a question just requires particular values or requires that you perform some sequence of calculations and in order to obtain a result. If you're interested in these files, they will be able to be accessed by going to the student resources section of Texas Instruments Australia's website. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of example templates. So we'll start with the data transformation template. In this one, there's a list of um, X values and Y values, so we have some numerical bivariate data, and then some formulas and variables have been established for squaring or transforming these variables, the squaring of the X, the log of the X, the reciprocal of the X. And then similarly, we have the same sorts of calculations or transformations for the Y. So that's how the template's been set up with the formulas there. And then the second page of this template has the scatter plot, the regression equation, and the residual plot below. So in this case, we're going to try a transformation. So um, we're changing the x variable, and we're choosing, in this particular instance, to change it to the x squared variable. We see how it changes. Um, data values, and we see how the residuals change. Just a special note, as with all these templates, there are things such as you may need to change the zoom settings to see the residuals more clearly. Here we see that seems to be um, a good R squared value. The residuals seem to be small and random, and so it's possible to conclude that this model is far superior to the linear model that's been tried. Now, this is how the template works. You do that, you get to the top of your X variable, and then just clear the data. Keeps the label, that's really important. Keeps the label, keeps the variable defined, but you just clear the data that's stored in that variable. And then you type in a new set of values. So you can imagine how this works. This template can be reused as much as you need to uh, just remembering every time to completely wipe out the data that you might have stored um, uh, in those. Be careful, you might have data values down in the 20th row, um, and unless you do clear data, it won't properly clear and you'll have problems. So we've just created some data. It looks like a reciprocal um, transformation might be useful. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll just have a look. So you look at the curvature of the data there and make a decision about some reasonable candidate models to try. Um, that's the original Y versus X. Um, that doesn't look to be particularly good. Um, let's try uh, the reciprocal of X. So we could have tried the reciprocal of Y. And you'll notice that, again, we'll zoom to make sure the residuals are showing well. Hard to argue that there's much of a pattern in the R squared, very high. So that's an example of a template file. Useful just to have on your calculator um, should you get questions that relate to transformations of variables. The second one um, is related to time series, and again, it's a template. It's quite similar in style. So it's time series data. So we've got time periods in the first column under the variable time, and um, this template allows you to put up to, I think, 20 data values or data pairs, and that column there is a formula which is quite complicated, but you don't have to edit it, you just have to use it, and it calculates, if it's plausible to put it, if it's valid to put in a value, it'll work out um, the three-point moving mean value centered around time period two. Similarly, 
um, five points for mean, for median, and also um, the uh, four point mean and centered four point mean. So all the values are calculated, um, and this is a common exam question that gets you to work out particular values, um, those particular smoothed values. Now it's m not just that, this also will graph the things. So for example, here's the time series plotted, um, and you can add a variable. If you press control and then uh, menu, you can add a Y variable, and so we can superimpose, say, a five point moving medium. And you'll see that that plot gets added. You can hover over the values and cut and, and read them off directly. Um, you can remove the variable that you added, the smooth variable that you added, and put a different one on. So that's quite useful and may help if you have a question that's asking you to graph a smooth value. And the final thing is that because we've stored these in variables, we can and line them up correctly with the time period. You can actually just type in, I want the third or the, the centered mean, four point moving mean value for the third time period and we'll just read it directly from it. So there you go. May be useful for you. Um, where do you get them? Just a reminder that you can get those files on the student resources section of the Texas Instruments Australia website.